हेलो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर फ्रस्ट्रेटेड विद ट्रेडिंग लॉसेस इन एफ एंड ओ मीन फ्यूचर एंड ऑप्शन ट्रेडिंग एंड वांट टू नो समथिंग दैट कैन मिनिमाइज योर लॉसेस सो आई हैव ब्रॉट अ फैंटास्टिक थिंग फॉर यू इन दिस वीडियो व्हिच इज ईटीएफ इन टुडेस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू व्हाई द चांसेस ऑफ लॉसेस इन ईटीएफ आर लोअर एज कंपेयर्ड टू एफ एंड ओ और अदर स्टॉक वेदर यू डू इट इन शॉर्ट टर्म और इन लॉन्ग टर्म I will also discuss the various types of ETFs available in the market and guide you on the three simple things to look for when choosing the best ETF ensuring your chances of loss are close to zero so let's start the video my name is mahima sharma and you are watching to toys investor now you want to know what exactly the disease of ETF is so basically the full form of ETF is an exchange traded fund it is just a type of mutual fund but it is put on the exchange which the ANC assist management company that provides you mutual fund on the website does the same ANC list it funds on the exchange now it can be traded like stocks this is called an exchange traded fund this ETF is very different from a mutual fund i will tell you about its benefits disadvantages and how it is related to mutual fund firstly let's talk about the benefits the biggest advantage of etf is that like you do in stocks and the company goes bankrupt you get zero return but this doesn't happen in etf the risk of becoming zero in etf is completely eliminated because ETF shares form a basket this is the first point now the second point is that suppose you want to invest in an index and index funds are becoming quite popular these days whether it is an index in india or the us the first way to invest is to either buy direct indian index fund or invest through ETFs Now the problem arises if you can't invest in index fund for some reason before 3 pm in this case you don't get the nav net assessed value for that day instead you get the nav for the next day however this problem is resolved in exchange traded fund whenever you buy an etf you get the nav for that day in the etf so let's explore the benefits that traders can leverage when investing in ETF and i will explain the conditions for maximizing these benefits later first covering the advantages and disadvantages briefly one significant advantage of investing in ETFs is that you don't need a large amount of money to start for example in gold ETFs you can begin with just 50 rupees nifty wees which is an ETF based on the nifty index is available at 222 rupees as of today's date so you can initiate your investment with a relatively small amount the fourth benefit is that you can apply various advance order types here such as bracket order basket order allowing you to implement different strategies and potential earn profit in your investments i will explain the condition for maximizing these benefits later in addition the fifth benefit is that unlike in futures and options trading when the risk can be quite high etfs pose a lower risk as mentioned earlier they can never become zero the sixth and final benefit of investing in etfs is that if you invest in mutual fund you have to pay an expense ratio but this is not the case with etfs etfs have a very low expense ratio typically ranging from 0.01 to 0.03% if you opt for equity etf the expenses remains minimal now i will also mention some disadvantages as every coin has two sides if you invest in etfs one thing that you should keep in mind is why the volume in etfs is not so popular in india at because if you buy an etf here that is not widely traded in the market you may not find a seller because there is a liquidity problem here so you may face difficulties in selling so you need to look at the volume it should be more than 1000 daily traded volume only then you should invest here you get another big disadvantage that if you are a long term investor 
and you get multi vega returns in share you don't get them in etf because again it is just a mutual fund that you get on the exchange like a share these are two biggest disadvantages in trading in etf apart from this it is suitable for both investors and traders now let's talk about the types of etf let me tell you about the strategies in etf if you want to invest in etf basically there are three type of etfs available in india the first is equity etf and the second is debt etf and the third one is commodity etf in this the market is quite big but in india etf trading is not at in so much margin the first type of etf is equity etf in this there is an etf of the index such as nifty or sensex and there is also a sectoral etf such as an it sector or a pharma sector and chemical sector if we talk about us etfs inside them there are quite a lot of company shares due to which diversification is seen now let's talk about debt etfs in debt etfs there are corporate bonds and government bonds etf the advantage here is exemplified by liquid bees an etf facilitating investment in bonds if you invest directly in bonds liquidity is often low but by investing through etf you gain more liquidity regarding commodity etf there are gold etf silver etfs and gas etf if you are set on investing in etf considering three things ensure a low index error a daily traded volume exceeding 1000 and reasonable expense ratio and management fees now for a strategy invest in etf on this when the market decreases this concludes today's information if you have any doubts feel free to comment and support our family until next time goodbye and take care